Hello, my friends. I'm so excited. We get to read another story together. And this one is about shapes and three mice that we already read. We have already met them. So today our reading is called Mouse Shapes, and it's by an author that we've read before, Ellen Stoll Walsh. And before we read, what do we usually do? You guessed it, we do our story time song. So here we go. Are you ready for a story? Eyes are watching, ears are listening, mouth is sit, because story time is quiet time. So today we'll be reading Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Here we go, I'm so excited. Look at all those shapes. Do you know some of those shapes? The mice were running from the cat. Hurry, said Violet. Let's hide in here, said Martin. After a while, Fred said, I think we lost him. Look, we've been hiding in shapes, said Violet. We can make things with them. Here's a, tri here's a square. Here's a triangle on top. Makes it a perfect house for a mouse. A triangle and a rectangle make a tree, said Martin. This circle is the sun. But these triangles are different said Fred. Triangles are tricky, said Violet, but many have three sides. Fred put two circles in a rectangle. It's a wagon, said the little mouse in the house. He said, two diamonds make a book for the little mouse to read, said Violet. Here's one oval, two circles, and a triangle, said Marion. It's a fish. Watch out! The cat likes fish, said Violet. Hey, let's make a cat, said Fred. Violet put on the ears and nose, and Fred stuck on the ears, and Martin added the teeth. It looks just like the real cat, he said, only better. Just then, real cat pronounced, the mice ran away. And didn't come back until the cat was gone. That cat's too sneaky, said Violet. If only we were bigger. I have an idea, said Fred. The clever mice got to work. Soon they made three big, scary mice. And surprised the cat. The cat ran away fast. What a scared cat, said Violet. Now we need to make a little mouse in the house. It's time for lunch, said Fred. Let's make some Swiss cheese. So they did. Do you know what shape was the Swiss cheese? It had three sides. Yes, you guessed it, it was a triangle. Do you remember some shapes that you saw in the story? That's right, we saw a circle. What else? Yes, we saw a square. That's right, we did see a triangle. We saw a small triangle, you're right. So we know that all of these shapes make other things. So if you take a circle and you put it in the sky in your picture, what does that make? A sun, good job. And what if you take a square and then put a triangle on top of the square? What do you think you have? A house like the mice did. So I'm so excited to have red mouse shapes with you. We got to see the mice in action again. It was so great reading with you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now.